So did you guys see this uh, CNN video of the host cutting off the Trump campaign spokeswoman? Oh, yeah. About, oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. I mean, if this isn't a preview of what you're going to see on Thursday at the debate, I don't know what is. So this was Casey Hunt, who was interviewing Caroline uh, Levitt about what Donald Trump's strategy was for when he takes the stage at the the debate in Georgia on Thursday. And here was this exchange. Watch. It's to it takes someone five minutes to Google Jake Tapper, Donald Trump, to see that Jake Tapper has ma'am, consistently we're stop frequently this interview if you're going to keep President attacking Trump my colleagues. Hilter, I, ma'am, I, I'm going to stop no, this interview I'm, if you I'm continue stating, to attack my colleagues. I would like hmm. to talk about I Joe Biden stating, and Donald Trump, who you work for. Yes. If you are here to we, speak on his behalf, and I, I am will willing to have this conversation. I am stating facts that your colleagues have stated in the past. Okay. Now, as I'm for sorry, this guys, debate, we're going to come back out to the panel. For, Caroline, thank the you very much for your time. You are welcome to come back at any point. She is welcome to come back and speak about Donald Trump. And Donald Trump will have equal time to Joe Biden when they both join us now at next early later this week. <laughs> Uh, in Atlanta for this little debate. flustered, a little bit flustered there. I didn't realize that that was the, the the clip that we had. So she goes in and she's like, hey, what's his strategy? And she's like, well, I mean, Donald Trump, like it's very easy and it's very obvious what his strategy is. He's just going to go in there and talk about how terrible Joe Biden has made this country. And then so it wasn't like she started the answer yeah. with that. She did give a very clear answer, but then she did. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think that very rightfully so pointed out your moderator has a history of anti-Trump sentiments. So obviously yeah, this is not go- right. You're, it's, it's not going to be fair. Right. And so um, so I want to I'll, I'll read this tweet here. Uh, the. CNN host later on tweeted out, you come on my show, you respect my colleagues, period. I don't care what side of the aisle you stand on, as my track record clearly shows. Did you guys see any disrespect? There's no disrespect. see any disrespect? Is, is, pointing out, is pointing out a fact disrespect? Is, well, that, is that disrespectful now? I thought that we were still uh, going by Ben Shapiro's facts don't care about your feelings. <laughs> well, even, even just an opinion is welcome. Don't have someone on your show... Mm-hmm. And all of us host shows. Right. Don't have someone on your show if you want to curate the opinion. Right. Mm-hmm. If you want to, if that's Joe Biden style. Oh, that's that. That's not a question. It was pre-approved. Right. You can't. You can't have playing that by answer. the rules. You can't talk about your opinion about Tapper. I mean, cut her off. Cut her off. I said it the other day, and I and I think Matthew's like Yaku. They won't do that. I'm telling you right now. Oh. Please. They will mute Trump oh, yeah. in oh, the yeah. middle of a sentence. They will. Yeah, they will. I'm t- I do not put that over them, not for a second, which is why, Pat, I'd love to hear your opinion. And Sorry, Sarah, your show, but Trump's tactics here should be discussed. I mean, does he, does he turn to Biden and speak to him directly and ask the questions that should be asked that they're not going to ask? I don't Biden. think he'll be allowed to. No. I don't think uh, so. No. They should, set, but they're going to cut him. He set the ground rules so that that can't happen. Yeah. And... Uh, all the just had some Obama uh, advisor talk about this, that every rule they have for this debate was set up by Biden for Biden. And so Trump just said yes to it all because he wanted to debate him so badly. And I really think he felt like if he didn't say yes, that uh, Biden would find a way out of there not wouldn't be a debate. There wouldn't be a debate. Yeah, right. I agree. And and he has a lot of confidence that he's going to crush him regardless right and I, th- I think he will too but now the expectations are so high that if he goes in they're all hopped up on whatever anti-alzheimer's drug they give him adrenaline uh-huh. that's what they're adrenaline, shooting him up whatever with. it is they're shooting up, up with the adrenaline yeah. yeah and if he performs like he did with the state of the union which wasn't i don't think it was great but it was better than most of us expected yeah. if he does that again that's going to help him a lot if he does that, Trump does not speak freely. He gets interrupted. It's a mm-hmm. combination, right? It's like, hey, we can mute your mic, and the host interrupts him. It's just, it's, it's disrupting the flow to block and tackle yeah. for right. Joe Biden. Yeah, it's, and it's been interesting, too. So Joe Biden is not going to return to the White House at all this week. He's going to be at Camp David. Whole week. They said the entire week just mm-hmm. pre- preparing. Yeah. I- preparing is double IV, baby. Yeah, I, either that or like they've they have to before before right they inject him with their concoction, he has to I don't know rest. 
I don't know, but I want to play uh, Donald Trump over the weekend. He was at a rally in Philadelphia and he, you know, of course, he would have been remiss if he didn't mention the debate coming up uh, on Thursday. Here's what he had to say about that watch. As you know, it's been reported that right now Crooked Joe's gone to a log cabin to study, prepare. No, he didn't. Do, he's sleeping now because <laughs> they want to get him good and strong. So a little before debate time, he gets a shot in the ass and that's <laughs> they want to strengthen him up. So he comes out. He'll come out. I, OK, I say he'll come out all jacked up, right? All jacked up. <laughs> Where's he, he, the look, lie? He's, look, he's not wrong. But think <laughs> about this in a logical sense without even attacking Joe Biden. Right. You're the president of the United States. And you've got to go abdicate your duties, your role, your job for a solid week at your holiday retreat mm -hmm. in order to prepare for one speech. Maybe you're not fit for the job because that guy you just saw mm -hmm. speak gets, gets off the debate stage at 11 p.m., flies, arrives back at 1 a.m., is on the phone at 6 a.m. with four and a half hours sleep, does three to four states a day, does it in his stride. Like anybody mm -hmm. that is in that position should be able to do. Yeah. You would expect yeah. Putin to not take a week off right. to go deliver a speech. Now, he may be sleeping, but he's going to be hooked up. Oh, he's going to be hooked up on all kinds of juju juice. I mean. I don't remember who said this on the show, but may, may, it might have been you. I don't know. But I really, really agree with them when they said, I just want to see a tell all book written by someone who was in this administration yeah. after the fact. Mm -hmm. So we know just how bad it got because oh, yeah. you got to believe it's going to going to oh, come. I just hope it, it, it hope comes so. out it to an America to. that still has a culture and not an America yeah. that reminisces of the days of old and when we once were a country. Well, and now they're all spewing the party line because they're still part of the administration and he's sharp as a tack. Oh, Okay. No, Green one day we'll hear the truth. Us. And Green the truth promised us. The, the truth is uglier than even we know. Oh, I think so. You know, so. You know it is. Yeah. So you know it is. Tip of the iceberg is what mm -hmm. we see. If you like this clip and you want to see the full episode, click here. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, come on. You know you do. Click here.